y'all welcome back to my channel wanted to get on here today with august favorites and i'm jumping right into this because i thought i had nothing and i have a ton and i'm gonna start as usual with my big guns the eyeshadow palette these are z palettes i have mac shadows and anastasia shadows in these i wanted to show y'all my favorite z palette if you want to make one this is from sephora it's magnetized and it's double-sided i can't wait to take this on a trip this will make my next trip so good. I love that you can just buy whatever you want. And then it's got this side. It's magnetized and it comes with extra magnets. But yeah, I love this double-sided Sephora one. This is the only one I'll buy from now on. Okay, next, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I saw this on Lisa Lisa D1 and she puts this on, I think, before she does her foundation. And I did that, but I am I skip that step all the time. So it wasn't getting used. So how I'm using this, and I did this today, is I put on my foundation and then I just dot it here instead of a highlighter, which I always forget. This is beautiful. Now, I don't know if I really needed it. I have the backlight, but I do love it. And it just adds a beautiful glow. I will add this over to stuff that's too matte. I'll use it just like I use the backlight. So if you have the backlight, I don't know that any of us need this, but it's really nice. And it has a little bit of a cover. Hang on, I'll put a little on my hand for you. It has a sheer cover, so it does have more cover than the backlight, but not much. And then it's just gonna make us glow. And it is it is a beautiful product. Okay, next, with my Sephora points, I got a little makeup forever. Y'all, I love these HD powders. I love this one for under my eyes. I love it. It is so brightening. Hold on, I'll do a little for ya. I just put it right here in the corner. And it just brightens that so well. This may be a tiny bit more brightening than my Laura Mer Mercier Secret Brightening. I don't use it all over my face. I just use it right here under my eyes for brightening. And it does that, and I love it. Okay, next, an older product to all of you, but brand new to me, is the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. It gives me such a flawless finish. I'm going to put a little bit of it on. It is a, looks like a thicker cover. What kind of a medium? Very blurring, makes you flawless. When I put it on, I immediately thought, oh, like the dual finish. It's just a, it's just beautiful. It gives a beautiful, flawless finish. Beautiful for touch-ups, and I think I'm going to love this over something like the It's CC or the Shiseido to give it a little more cover, kind of like the Bare Minerals I would do, but in a pressed. Love this. Just makes you flawless. Next, I picked up three MAC liners, and I'm so glad I did. I love a MAC lip liner, and all I had was Spice. My favorite up to today has been the Whirl, because it, it goes great with a pinky nude. It is a mauve. Now, I will tell y'all, I was watching Anne-Marie, that, but I was listening to Anne-Marie. She is a dupe for this, the NYX mauve. I'm getting it. I will be picking that up, but I love this in Whirl. If you like the MAC liners, want to stick with the MAC liner, that is nice. This one is plummier, and it's called Absolutely It. I have it on today. I really, really like that. It's that one. Just a really nice plum. The MAC liners... You just really can't go wrong with it. Okay, next, picked up two Milani Keep It Fulls. I think a subscriber recommended these. I have one in Moonlight, and it is like an iridescent, and I have it on. I have on my MAC liner. I have on Blankety by MAC that I'm using up. And then I have this over it, and I really like it. It's just a really nice gloss. It doesn't feel as cool as the Buxoms. I think these are supposed to be plumping. They're not overly sticky, just really, you know, glossy. And then I picked another one up in Almost Natural. And this is pretty opaque. We'll put a little of this on. Let me wipe off what I've got on. Okay, I still have a little stain on from my other lipstick, but you'll be able to tell. And that's just a pinky nude. It is very nice, glossy, a little bit cooling, very nice. Okay, next. A subscriber told me that I should try the Guerlain Bronzers. I picked this one up in number 02, Natural Rose Cool. 
Y'all, this was love at first sight. This warms me up, does not muddy me. It was a splurge, I will tell you. But when I saw that pink mixed with the brown, I thought I might could do that. Now, I have been using my Better Blush in Plum Rose, and I <laughs> love this. But when, when y'all love stuff, I like to try it with you. So I'm going to put a little of this on so you can see it. So that's it. I'm going to buff it out a little bit. So, yeah, I love this. Okay, next, I have a couple of older products for a reason. My e.l.f. Total Complexion Brush. Y'all, this is so old it kind of wobbles. I'll tell you why it's in here. I have so many brushes, and I just grabbed this out one day. hadn't used it in forever, and I was like, what is that? And it really struck me how good this brush is. I'm going to get a fresh one. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. If you have the e.l.f. Total Face Brush, they're both soft. And this one's just a little bit smaller. And I like a smaller powder brush because I just, I like to have more control. Refill in love with my e.l.f. Total Complexion Brush. If you haven't tried this, that's an inexpensive risk for you. I have one in my Walmart cart. And then another one that I have talked to death on my channel, but I ran out of this NYX Jumbo Stick in Milk that I use here on my inner corner, and they were out of it at my CVS. So I ordered two more from Ulta. I missed this so much. Nothing compares to this. It's just irreplaceable to me to brighten right here, make me have more of a lid than I normally do. This deserves all-star status, and I really just refill in love with this this month. Okay, next, going to move on to some skin and hair products. A subscriber told me that I ought to pick up the Clinique Moisture Surge Facial Spray. Let me tell y'all why I love this. This has moisturizing properties in it, but very light. So after all my skincare is on, if I'm feeling dry, a spritz of this, again, a beautiful mist. Love this. It has glycerin. It has some aloe. It has a lot of other good stuff in it. Clinique is killing it for me lately. Next, I had talked on my channel about how much I love the smell of lavender. And one of my subscribers said, if you like a good, sharp lavender, the Dr. Teal's. And she was right. The Dr. Teal's lavender is nice and sharp. It's got aloe. It's got vitamin E. And I love this. The body wash. I also have the body lotion. And this is very nice too. I ignore my body skin. Or when I used it, I liked it. It's not real heavy, which is great for me. You know, it's not real heavy, but it's it, nice and moisturizing. And I love that too. But I'm using the Dr. Teal's body wash every night and really enjoying that. Okay, next. Y'all, I don't know that I've ever had just a shampoo in my favorites because I don't really care that much about my shampoo. What I'm looking for is don't weigh me down and don't dry me out. This does neither one of those. This is the Shea Moisture Hydrate and Repair Shampoo. I'm on day three and I'm still not flat, but it doesn't dry me out. My hair's getting healthier and healthier. This is part of that, and I really am enjoying that. Okay, my next one, y'all, I'm in love with this, and I heard about this on someone's channel and don't remember whose. This is the Redken Frizz Dismiss. It is an oil, and I cannot tell y'all how sad I am because when I was carrying it in here, I dropped it, and that came off, and I can't find the pump. It is just a very nice, mid-weight oil. I put it all over the ends of my hair before I flat iron it. I always turn down the temperature on my flat iron a little bit because I don't want to fry it. Rich, but does not weigh me down at all. I like it between shampoos, just on the ends. I like it right after I blow dry my hair to take off the frizz. This is beautiful. We heard about my next product on Trisha's channel, and that is the Crest 3D White. Y'all, I'm in love with this toothpaste so much, I have my entire house on it. I usually use bleach from the dentist, and I'm out of it, and have not gone to replace it. And I was really starting to notice some staining from Invisalign's, trapping coffee in there. I used this twice. Could not believe how much this brightened. And I just got the paste. I didn't get the kit. Very inexpensive. This works so well. Crest 3D White Glamorous. I love this. Okay, next, the Tanceuticals 
self-tanner. Y'all, this is my big guns of the self-tanner. I use it all winter long because if I have rips in my jeans at the knee, my knee is so pasty. Put this on, it makes that look so much better. Now, I will tell y'all, this is dark. Two coats of this, I'm tropical dark. You put this on with a mitt. It is a tiny bit tinted for a little bit of a guide, but not much. I can put it on and I can wear it all day and then I just shower it off at night. I get this online and I love it. I'm passionate about my tinsuticals. Okay, next, on my last trip, I visited a Banana Republic outlet and found the perfect skinny jeans. These are a tiny bit stretchy. I don't have them on today, but I'm gonna put a picture up. They are just a mid-rise skinny jean. I love these so much. I got them in khaki, so comfortable. I got them in black. The denim ones have that unfinished hem, so they're so cute with sandals. And then white. And I love those. I don't remember what I paid for them, but I'm going to find them and I'm going to link them. Okay, and then a food item. A friend of mine was telling me about a gluten-free chip called Ciate Grain-Free Chips. I don't have any because I ate them all. My favorite are the limes. They're real salty and limey. Real thin, airy consistency. They are so good. And I think that's all my favorites for the month of August. So y'all put down below some things that y'all are loving so I can pick it up and love it with you. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.